say day 98. Um, this should have been out last week, but to be quite honest, as you can hear by my voice, I've not been in the right space for it. Um, it's true what they say, the more chemo you have, the worse you feel. I had chemo last Thursday. It was eight and a half hours. It's on the board this time because there's no room in the unit, so it shows how many people have got cancer. Um, not good, to be honest, not good. Um, everything hurts. Everything, literally everything. My veins just so sore. My legs are killing. Um, my throat, it's not sore, it's just croaky. Um, I've been reading up about a thing called chemo brain where your head's all fuzzy and you can't quite, your cognitive abilities aren't great, you're thinking and all that, which I think I've got at the moment. I'm not, I'm getting angry quick. I'm getting, you know, over silly things, stupid things, pointless things, things that don't matter, you know. Um, I'm just hoping that the uh, chemo this week is my last one, I really do. Because it's getting, you know, I know it's a necessity and I need it, but Jesus, it's hard. It's so difficult. Um, thing is, Chris can't do nothing. You know, she's not able to do it, she can't make things change for me. Um, I went to Stoke today, that was an enjoyable trip again, four hours between, you know, two hours here, two hours back for 15 bloody minutes to speak to an anaesthetist that they could have done over the phone but they didn't do it. And that was just to discuss my operation, which they discussed last week, so, you know, just another bloody waste of time again. Um, like I say, my headspace hasn't been good this week. It really hasn't. I'm struggling quite hard this week. I'm struggling far more than I thought I would. Um, it's a trouble with chemo. You just don't know what's going to happen the next dose. You really don't. I'm just hoping that this week now, because it's a short day, I'll have my chemo. I'll probably feel crap for a few days, hopefully, but not too long. But reading up about it as well you know these side effects can go anywhere from six to twelve months after finishing chemo so you know it's not like a couple of weeks after chemo is over and it's done this can go for a long time mm -hmm. so you know i'm struggling i am struggling quite a lot at the moment far more than i thought i would i didn't think i'd struggle this much but i suppose this is the joys of the unknown this is what happens when you don't know you got no clue of what, what's ahead. So it makes things very difficult. It's hard to, you can't plan anything because you don't know how you're going to feel, you know. Um, it's been a struggle, it really has. It really has been a struggle. But again, you know, looking at it the other way, there was a lady having chemo last week. I was briefly speaking to her, 78 years old. So 10th chemo, 10 weeks, one a week for 10 weeks. And then she's on another one after that for every other, you know, every three weeks. You know, and I don't know how the hell she does it. I generally don't, because I'm struggling and mine's only, you know, I've had five doses of chemo. So she's doubled what I've had. And she's still going, you know. So, it's hard, it is hard, it's difficult. It's emotional at the minute. My emotions are all over the place. My my energy levels are pretty much bloody zero to be quite honest I mean today we went to Stoke in the car went to the hospital, got back in the car come out, I was absolutely knackered I didn't do anything you know, I didn't do anything just tired from sitting down tired from just doing a little bit of movement now I'm just waiting on it's this last chemo then a CT then wait on the CT results then 
hopefully it's all gone. I hope so. I really do. I really hope it's all cleared up and it's gone because otherwise it's more. And then it's waiting until the cell count and everything and my immune system's up to what they class as scratch and then they'll um, put me in for my op. Which we were discussing that today. It's like seven hours. Here, give or take seven hour operation on a 30 degree angle so your head's down 30 degrees which is weird um, ICU possibly for a couple of days dependent but there's probably at least I don't know anywhere between a week and 14 days in hospital recovery and then the hardware begins then because that's where I thought I'd be really good with it, but I don't think I am going to be, is where the psychological side kicks in. Of adjusting, living with the bag, learning that, you know, all the stuff with it. I generally thought at the beginning I'd be pretty good with it, and I get my head around it, and I have got my head around it, but I don't know how I'm going to cope with it when I get it. It's going to be a lot more difficult than I actually anticipated, <laughs> which is what every part of this has been. I've had quite a good ride at the beginning with it really it wasn't that bad it's just the more you have the worse it is and it is worse it really is even though this week's only a short one I still don't expect it to be pleasant when I side effects kick in and that's what I'm starting to get now is a lot of side effects you know the throat thing that's <laughs> that's run of the mill that's just normal I don't mind it I've got like a bit of pain in here and gums which that's another side effect I've been good with the hair loss, so I can't complain about that. But again, I've still got another treatment, so who knows how that'll end up. Um, yeah, it's been a hard week. It's been really has been a hard week. It took a lot for me to just get myself to do this today. It really has. I am struggling. I'm struggling a lot at the moment. Far more than I thought I would. Like I generally thought I was quite a good, strong person, but... Not as strong as I think I am. Not at all. This this tests you. This really does test you. And every every single part of it. And the minute you wake up to the minute you go to sleep. And again, it's all it's even when you're sleeping. It's the pain when you're sleeping. <clears throat> you know, I mean so my bladder is nah, is destroyed now. So even when the cancer's hopefully gone, it's it's you know, it's 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 useless. <clears throat> so it's like trying to get up, trying to get to the toilet. It's all the, you know, all the things that you take for granted that <clears throat> you never think about normally, which makes the job ten times harder because it isn't as simple as just go up and get to the toilet. It's it's not that easy anymore. <clears throat> um, I mean, hopefully, I don't really want bloody side effects for like six, twelve months. But again, I suppose if they are, they are. I can't, I can't do nothing about it. You know, it's just <clears throat> part of the treatment. Uh, there's been you know, moments this week where I'm just sort of sat there and like, just why, why, you know what I mean, why. How much more of this can I take? All of it. I have to take it. I've got no choice. Well, I've got a choice, but the only choice is if I don't do it, I die. So I haven't got a choice. I've got to do it. <clears throat> it's painful as it is. Psychologically hard as it is, I have to do it. You know, I mean, people see me, man, see me, and it's like, oh, he looks at it. It's brave face, that's all it is. It's putting on a brave face, it's not. It's not the old me. That's that old me is at the minute is, is long gone. The old me doesn't exist anymore. Hopefully it'll come back. I hope so. I really do. But we'll see. We'll see psychologically how things go. I mean, I might need a lot of help with it. I don't know. We'll just see. Um, Next night will be probably after the next chemo, but it depends on how I feel after that. Really, it might not be that. You know, it might not be the same day. It might be a couple of days later. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I'll just see how I get on. <coughs> um, 
Again, with this, the underlying message, please, if you think something's wrong with yourself, please come get yourself checked out. Don't wait, don't ignore it. Don't act like it'll never happen again. Because this is what'll happen if you do. You'll go through all this stuff. Which is not nice. It's not pleasant. It's not. There's no part of this that's nice at all. Not a part of it. Um, so again, with this, please like, share, subscribe, share the heart of it if you can. You know, get as many people to see it. You know, just get it out there. You know, and if then they can watch this, they will go back there and hopefully watch the other ones from the beginning, and then they'll have an understanding of what this. It's a nightmare, it is a nightmare, and there's no two ways about it. It is a nightmare. From diagnosis up to now, it's a nightmare, it's not nice. It's not a day out, it's not a day in the bloody park, you know what I mean? It's not wine and roses. That's all. It's just pain at the moment. Physical and psychological. So... Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch everybody soon with a little hug.